What's going on, guys? It's Annoying Bro 5 here. Welcome back to our favorite bush. Today, in our Fiora series, we're going against Teemo, which has been requested by some of you guys. Um, this Teemo is going Teleport rather than Ignite, which is kind of expected in more higher elos. They're also going Summon Airy. Um, you're going to get a mix of different types of Teemos, um, depending on each elo. And speaking of runes by teemos we're going to be actually running grasp here now before you put you pick up your torches and pick forks everyone just just hear me out okay grasp is actually a really strong rune i'm going to be putting my runes up like i normally do um grasp is a very strong rune and i feel like it is extremely extremely um discredited on fiora it's pretty good we're uh, also starting doran shield and we're going to be taking second wind on the uh demolish tree i mean on the um on the resolve tree and this gives us a little bit more early sustain now in lower elos you can get away with running conqueror as well um i prefer to take grasp because one it's it's really good for landing phase you just don't scale as well um and i feel like this would be a good uh good way to demonstrate it for you guys so even though we're going to be taking a lot of poke early on it's gonna almost be uh as if nothing even happened watch I, i'm just sitting back just with my uh d shield and second wind look i already healed basically uh, he hit me again but i basically healed it all back now with grasp what you want to be doing is is uh as soon as you have the proc up which is that green stuff on your hands you want to be going in i'm kind of playing a little standoffish but you want to just be going in get as much poke as you can he has a level advantage on me so now isn't really the best time for me to be trading. I was just showing for example's sake, and I don't think this team is that good, so I, I feel like I'd, uh, I could, uh, you know, take some punishment. So let's let's see here. This is a pretty big wave. I don't want to be fighting him. In this matchup, you want to make sure that you repost his um, his Q. So, and I'm, I'm going to respect him a little bit. He's stronger in the first early levels. If you had Conquer, you probably could. If you have the level lead, uh, jump on him. Uh, let's just back up a little bit. Now, if you notice, again, I'm taking all this poke from him, but I haven't used my potion yet. And I'm, I, It's just because second wind, you passively heal as well as D-shield. You passively heal back the damage. And just look at my health. I, I took so many shots, and it, uh, it's I did it all for free. You know? Uh, I'm kind of tempted in here. I was kind of tempted to pop a health potion. Just because we were about to go in. He's dead. There we go. I just did a simple QW there. Oh, hey. Watch out. Uh, I could potentially set up a freeze here. But he's going to probably teleport in. So let me just get this minion. I'm just going to back right here. Timo's most likely going to be TPing. He's not doing it right now, so I'm not sure what he's doing. But we're just going to back. We're still going to be doing our normal build where we're going to want to get a uh, time at first. I'm going to buy a pink. Oh, he did TP. Okay, we still have a decent amount of minions here, so I want to clear some of these first before I... Uh... Oh, it looks like we Hecarim's coming in again. Okay. All right. So I parried his Q. Feels bad for this Teemo, honestly. I'll give him a little thumbs up. A little positive rein uh, reinforcement here. Uh, not going to lie. This is kind of ruining the laning phase for me, which I want to display to you guys. But basically, you just want to jump on him. I'll, I'll show you guys in a little bit. It's just gonna, I'm going to be a little bit more fed. You want to uh, hop on him with your Q. When you, if He's he's most likely going to be running away because obviously he's ranged in your melee. Um but you're going to want to hop on him. As soon as he runs away, when he turns around, l try and look for the animation of his Q. The missile is going to be a little bit thicker. That's what you're going to want to repost. If you land your repost on that and you hit him, he's going to be slowed. You can use your E slow and he's not going to be able to get away from you. So we're just going to back up a little bit. My main goal right now is just to shove this wave under so I can get it back here. So we're just going to ignore him. He can poke me as much as he wants. Again, you can see how much I'm healing it up. Which is why Grasp is so strong. Especially paired with D-Shield. Now, if you're going Conqueror, I would still recommend D-Shield. You're not going to be healing as much because you, you won't have Second Wind. As you can see, we've healed a total of 174 HP on top of that. So. 
just just keep that in mind. All right, we're just gonna go back to lane. Now, also, if you want to get to lane, don't be afraid to you know queue forward. Don't you know even if you don't have presence of mind, which you're not gonna be running presence of mind in this matchup or uh, when you're running grasp for the most part. If you want the uh, sorcery tree, so you know whenever your queue is up, don't be afraid to uh, queue to lane faster. You know, that's more XP, more gold that you could be missing out on. Now he's almost six, so we're just we're gonna keep our our pink ward just for that uh oh he's afraid he's afraid already look at this i mean it makes sense he was uh getting camped a bit he probably has a ward in that bush now i'm, I'm kind of letting it slow push here because if he wants to come up and get farm he has to get like in my little danger zone so we're gonna place that pink right there just to deny him uh vision and whenever he comes up once i grip my I get my grass proc which i have now i'm gonna want to just come up give a little a little hello you know you just see how much damage i do and i'm just again i'm gonna start healing some more back up because the second wind and d shield not to mention the grass proc itself also heals you so i mean it, it, it's really like it's whew. It's a good rune. Now, again, like I said, you can go conquer into Teemo, but uh, in uh, lower ranks, it's more, it's easier, it's going to be easier in lower ranks. In higher ranks, you might want to go grasp, and by higher, I mean probably gold plus, plat plus, so you just want to be a little bit more careful. Ooh, that took a decent amount of damage here. I'm not going to repost it because he's not engaging. And again, we're going to passively heal all this back up, so. Okay, he's kind of... He just kind of disrespected me by stepping up a little bit, so I just had to flex on him real quick. And if you didn't see exactly what I did, I would recommend maybe putting it in replay and going a little slower. Basically, I closed the gap on him. I knew how much damage my ultimate was going to do. Uh, and I applied the right slows at the right time. So we're going to push this wave in again. Let this push up a little bit. Shove this in. Are we going back? All right. We're doing pretty good. So, again, the whole main concept of Grasp is, one, it makes you a little bit tankier. You get a bigger uh, health pool. But on top of that, especially in these ranged matchups like Teemo, it basically just nullifies him. His whole existence in lane is basically just to poke you out, right? So if you could stop his poking, which you do with your D shield because you get uh, six health every five seconds, and then with your second wind, you're going to be healing passively as well. It basically just negates him on top of your grasp uh, healing. So we've healed 144 with grasp alone. Then you also have revitalize, you know? You have all these different sources of healing, and basically he's going to be useless. And again, like I said, in lower ranks, you could probably get away with Conqueror. You know, being very aggressive um, can make them hesitant to, you know, step up and do anything. And you could just kind of stomp them. But in higher elos, they'll know when to uh, when to push you back, how how to move, all that stuff. So then I would I would definitely recommend taking Grasp. A lot of people struggle in the Teemo matchup. Um, and I think it's probably because people are still taking Conqueror. And again, you could, you could stick with it. It's, it's all up to preference. But I would recommend this in most scenarios. Just because it makes the lane entirely easy. Now, I'm not too sure where he is. He's probably waiting under tower. And he's afraid to, uh, he's afraid to step up and farm against me. But I'll just, I'll just shove it in. We'll see if we can find him. Oh, there he is. Uh, I'm going to place a deep ward. Get a little, little better vision here. Okay, Morgana's doing things. Okay, so we just, we again, we parried his blind, and then it just made him useless. He tried to play around the turret a little... Oh! He tried to play a tur around the turret a little bit, 
Um, which wasn't a bad idea by him, but he probably should have stayed under turret. And because he, he ended up giving me the vital, which is just bad on his part. All right. And now the good thing with demolishes is, oh, you just you just shred turrets, dude. You shred them even more than you normally do. Uh, Timo has TP, I was just about to say, yeah. So I'm, I'm overstaying a little bit. Uh-oh. I think he's too far behind to be able to uh, do anything to me, though. Oh, and the brand with the shutdown. He also flashed earlier, so let's mark that. Perfectly timed to get Ravenous. Now, there's nothing really to do on the map, and I don't want him taking this pink, so let's TP to that real quick. All right. Just like nothing ever happened. I'm going to shove this in because he's just going to be sitting under turret. Because he is too afraid to do anything. There's not like much. There's not many options for him right now. I have to remember there's a uh, mushroom here. Okay. I think he just dipped. We'll just keep getting our plating. I don't want to just take. I don't want to take the turret just yet. Um. Because I wanna, I wanna lose some more farm underneath it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna proxy. We have another two minutes until the last turret plating, so we can we can get away with doing this. Kind of sucks that I don't have a ward for right here, but it's okay. I'm just denying him more farm by doing this. I think he backed. Yeah, there he is. So now he's missing out on the experience that's over here, and um, I'm still farming. This is called proxying. Now, you don't want to do this unless you're ahead. I see their jungler now is is a bot side for the dragon. Teemo might rotate there. But there's really nothing he can do because he has to pass me if he wanted to get here. And if you think about it, again, a lot of uh, lower elo people don't understand this. But any creeps that die to tower... Um, okay, hold on. What are you doing here, buddy? I know you have shrooms in there. He's trying to lure me in there for to hit his shrooms. Never follow a Teemo into the bushes, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but any any minions that get lost to uh, turrets is wasted experiencing gold for the enemy. So you, you always want to push for that. Ooh, that's a close one. I think Talon should be able to clean that up, not going to lie. Yeah, they should be fine. Ooh, but mid-turret plating. Look at all the... Oh. We're playing farming simulator. Okay, but... See, normally I should be getting this, but your boy is greedy right now. Your boy wants these kills. My eyes have been locked on. Uh, they knew... They saw me here, and I saw them walk up, so let's see. And while I'm at it, let me just mute... Okay, so I guess they just they just dipped. I'm just wasting my time. All right, we're just gonna go back top. I, I was way too greedy. Uh, we are definitely going to be getting Merc treads, uh, and then we're gonna grab Sheen. Now, a lot of people ask during when buying Trinity Force, should you get Sheen or should you get Phage first or should you get Stinger? First things first, never get Stinger first. You really do, it, It's one of the weaker of the three for Fiora. You want to get Phage if you have to chase down champions and your, your movement speed isn't enough. And you want to get Sheen if you want to take turrets and deal more damage. Uh, so I, I could basically... I'm, I'm just clapping cheeks right now. I don't need Phage. Um, and preferably you, you want to uh, be dealing more damage and taking more turrets. Um, so in this situation, I'm going to take that. And then for Merc Treads, you want to be... Yeah, Merc Treads is better than Ninja Tabby. Uh, you want to be looking for how much crouch con crowd control or CC. So Morgana has her stun. Brand has her stun. Um, and then on top of that, uh, you want to look for Ninja Tabbies if they have like AD or AP. They have a lot of AP on their team. So that's why I'm definitely taking Merc Treads over Ninja Tabby. Uh, I think there's going to be a failed roam. So I think they backed there. They're probably going to come up through here, but I don't have a ward. So I'm probably just going to clear this and shove this into tower. Hopefully bringing someone back mid. If you ever want somebody to show up, 
just pushing the wave. See? Um, I know Teemo is nearby. Okay, shit's going down. I'm fine with keeping Tristana here. Uh, while Talon roams. Because Tristana is uh, pretty big. Talon is as well. But as long as I can keep him locked here. Ooh. That was disgustingly horrible, what I was trying to do. I fucking failed it like crazy. <laughs> I wanted to flash Q to get onto the other side, but I fucking, I whiffed my flash, so I'll see you guys later. This is where the video ends. You guys can, you guys can leave the video now. I went to flash Q, and then I was also anticipating his, uh, his ultimate, that's what my repost was, when he turned around, but he, like, auto-attack canceled. So, we'll just, we'll just take the turret. And then again, we want to deny Tristana this farm, so we're just going to shove this in. Now, let's see if we can steal some stuff in the jangle here. And if Teemo overstays, we just kill Teemo. This, this is just proper rotations. So yeah, we're going to we're going to take blue. I don't see Teemo, so I'm going to pull him into the into the bush. Uh bot lane's clapping cheeks. So we don't have to worry about that. I do want to try and get as much of this wave as possible. Let's see. Teemo probably just backed. Teemo's probably afraid to step up just because um, I'm so big. And if I if I just jump into him, he's dead. All right. We get some of this experience in gold. And again, in the, in the Teemo matchup, if I didn't explain it earlier clearly... You want to use your Q to jump in on him, use your E to slow him, deal as much damage as possible, and as soon as you see him use his Q, that's when you want to repost. I know I, I didn't get a great chance to uh, show it off. Uh, she saw me because of the minion wave there. Do a little QW stunner. Heh! <laughs> <laughs> I did a, uh, a quick auto E cancel, so she wasted her flash. She had Zonias. That's a lot of damage. Right, we're gonna shove this in again. Now again, we have Demolish. We just we just chunk this down a little bit. We could take this turret. They should do this because Morgana's dead. Hecarim's dead as well, but I have TP, so I can get down there. All right, we're, we're not going to overextend here. Okay, I see Brand is coming up. I don't have my ultimate, but let's see. Let's see if we can cheese something real quick. If Tristana comes, I'm dead too, so. I'll just go back. I'm greeting because I have 2.8k. I just thought if he came up, I could probably just one-shot him real quick because they, they fell behind in the bot lane, so. All right, we got our Triforce. Got our boots. We're going Death Stance next, so we're on Unstoppable. Ravenous and Death Stance are so big right now. Uh, I'm going to look to TP in case I can't get here in time, but we should be looking to do this. I don't know what our jungler's doing. All right. Tristan is actually running it down. What am I looking at? Okay, but she got the kill. Oh! Come here, Morgana. Come here, honey. My Q went on cooldown, which kind of sucks because uh, Jin popped her so quickly. Why are you disrespecting me like this? Why you disrespect like that? I want to TP up there, but I know he's going to immediately run away. Yeah, I'm going to do it, actually, because we get this bottom one. Oh, they actually four... Okay. Well, guys, these videos are getting shorter and shorter because everyone keeps quitting. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't show you guys the proper landing phase because your boy was getting, uh, you know, a lot of help with Hecarim. But remember, guys, if you liked the video, please subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.